Welcome everyone to chapter 1, uh, tutorial 5 of my C++ DirectX 11 series. So the last tutorial we saw about uh, functions and now we, we need to go over ifs and loops quickly. I'm again, uh, so far I don't think I'm teaching you so much, it's just little syntax difference with the other language. So let's just erase, let's erase our heroes this time and everything. Okay start fresh and we're going to start with uh, if conditions all right so let's say we have some variables there a is equal to 5 uh, b is equal to 10 c equal to 3 so you can do if a minus than b then a my mi uh, not minus but uh, less than b Right, so simple if condition, condition. Uh, nothing different than our language, as I know that I think of. No. All right, a less than b. Uh, you can. There's the non-equal. You can do equal or you can do non-equal. Uh, one go there, right? Because. C is 3, so it shouldn't go in there. All right, simple stuff. Uh, otherwise, C is equal equal to 3. So technically, it should go there. So let's try this quickly. Yep, all right. So simple enough. If C equal to 1, well, it won't go there. So that's how, so that's how you write an else. But you can also do a else if like this in two words. So if this, then this. Otherwise, if, you know, you can branch if like that uh, as many as you want. So if it's equal to two, let's say, well, it won't go there too, obviously. And otherwise, with no if, then let's just say, Go in there. Go in there. All right. So, pretty obvious stuff. Hopefully, if you don't understand this, uh, you need more basic tutorials, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. So then you can you can kind of compose these things uh, with parentheses and let's say uh, if c equal three n. So this is the the n operator and there's the or uh, like that. Same thing as C Sharp in Java, I don't think there's any difference. Uh, if you're uh, from Visual Basic, then it would be N and OR, stuff like that. All right, and A is less than 10, and let's say B is not equal 10, so this one shall fail. All right, so this is a block, and then we can say OR, A equal, equal 5, and C is not equal to 5, then this full condition should be true because this is false, but those two are, are true. So, so the parentheses here are not actually necessary because the end operator actually uh, take precedence on the uh, or operator, just like a multiplication take precedence on the plus and minus. But you know, to be clean, you usually just put parentheses, otherwise the other programmers will hate you or something. They'll probably hate you if you write a line like this anyway. <laughs> uh, all right, so then we can just say, I don't know. You can just print it out. Oop, I did a mistake. I did a mistake. That's always awesome. I forgot NL and I forgot the L at the end because it's N line. And voila. All right, so that's it for ifs. I'm not going to talk more about this. Then there's the for loops. All right, so again, very, very simple to the uh, other language. C sharp as a for each, C as one, in a sense, C 11, but we're going to see that in a further tutorial. I think this the next one, since we talk about containers, yes. So right now we're just going to do your normal everyday for loop. So you declare i is equal to zero, i less than 10, 
and you're going to increment i every loop. And then we're just going to output it. And yeah, we see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until 9. As expected. Okay, no surprise here. And you can do a loop on the other side. So let's say you want to start at 10 and do the loop until greater or equal to 0. And instead of, instead of incrementing with plus plus, we're going to decrement with uh, minus minus. And so we were incrementing on the previous loops. Let me just show the code here. On the first loop, then on the second loop, loop we start at 10 and we decrement until 0. All right, that's it for four loops for now. While loops, same thing. All right, so you start the variable at zero, do it until minus uh, until less than than ten. Output it. Not count, but see out. And then increment it. So it's basically like a for loop, but just more ugly way of writing it. And zero, one, two, three, until nine. And then there is the do while. So those are all concepts that are on the other language. But the, the do while, I would say that people don't use that often. So maybe you've never used that. But instead of doing while, you can start by doing the loop and you can test it at the end like this. And inside, you're just going to do the same thing if you do the test at the end. Sometimes there's a situation where this, this can be useful. All right, same thing, twice, blah, 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 everything is there. All right, so that's it for ifs condition and for loops. Uh, there is no need to go more details. We'll see containers next, next tutorials. Thanks for watching.